Good morning students and welcome back to your English class. Today we are going to take a new chapter. All of you take your textbook page number 27. Little Elephant's Clever Trick. Now let us read a poem. I am little Jumbo, short and nice. Look at my face and two bright eyes. I have a big long nose and a small little tail and I love to play with water from the pail. Now complete the information about Jumbo. Here you can see Jumbo. First Jumbo. Jumbo is an elephant. Right? So, I am little Jumbo. This is little Jumbo. Short and nice. He looks so nice. Right? Okay, look at my face and my two bright eyes. He is having two bright eyes. I have a big long nose and a small little tail. You can see a big nose here. How many of you have seen elephants? Okay. This is the big long nose of elephant. And you can see a small tail of the elephant. And I love to play with water from the pail. You, you can see water in a pail. And Jumbo, the elephant, loves to play with water from the pail. Here, there are three sentences given below. You have to complete it after reading the poem. Little elephant wants to play hide and seek. Read the story to know how he becomes friends with the other animals. Little elephant goes for a walk. Today he wants to explore. He meets Zoro zebra. Little elephant has never seen a zebra before. He looks at Zoro zebra's snazzy stripes. Then he looks at his horn plain skin. Little elephant is puzzled. Okay. Now, the little elephant, Jimbo. What was his name? Jimbo. He went for a walk and he made home. He met Zoro, the zebra. And he has never seen a zebra before. Zebra will be having white black and white stripes on its body right and elephant jumbo the elephant looks at his black and white stripes and look he looks at his own skin what is the skin of elephant black right plain black excuse me little elephant says why are you stripy so i that i can hide replies Zoro Zebra. When I am in the grass, out in the plain, it is really hard to see me. I will show you. Now the elephant asks Zebra why he is having stripes on his body. And what did Zebra say for hiding? Okay. If he is in the grass, he can hide there. Or no one will be able to see him clearly. He runs off. Little elephant tries to see where he is. But Zoro zebra disappears. Now, he runs off and he will. The elephant went search for him. Searching for him. But he could not find her. Little elephant is surprised. You are right. It is hard to see you. That is so clever. He says. Now, elephant was very surprised that he couldn't find zebra there inside the grass. And he tells that it is so clever. Little elephant wanders on. Before long, little elephant meets Juno Giraffe. He has never seen a giraffe before. Little elephant looks at Juno giraffe's pretty patches. 
then he looks at his own grey skin excuse me little elephant says why are you covered in patches so that i can hide juno giraffe replies when i am under the trees and sun is the sun is shining it is really hard to see me i will show you now whom he means first he met giraffe sorry he met zoro the zebra now he met juno juno giraffe and he is asking why he is having patches on his skin and giraffe told that he can hide when the sun shines and he told he will show him juno giraffe walks over to some trees little G- elephant try to see where she goes but juno giraffe disappears little elephant is surprised and what he did he went into some trees and over to some trees and elephant is trying to find her but he could not find her right elephant was very surprised to see that you are right it is hard to see you you are so clever little elephant wanders on now he told that you are right and it is very hard to find you you are very clever little elephant starts to feel very sad i cannot hide anyway he thinks everyone is able to see me he kneels down bows his head and begins to cry now he felt very sad why he cannot hide anywhere and everyone is able to see him right so what he did he began to cry juno giraffe and zoro zebra come back with caro crocodile where is the little elephant asked juno giraffe well he is not here now says zoro zebra there is just that rock old rock over there the rock begins to giggle it is me little elephant i am not a rock what a clever trick says zoro zebra you do not need grass or trees to hide says juno giraffe you can hide anywhere just like that at zoro zebra when he started uh, lying on the started crying lying on the ground giraffe zebra and crocodile came there and now they are asking what is that elephant they just found an old rock there and what happened old rock started to laugh and who was that it was the elephant then they told that he don't need grass or trees to hide he can hide anywhere yes i can say little elephant will you play with us ask little elephant new friends yes please replies little elephant i want to play hide and seek and now they are asking will he play with them and they and he told that yes he want to play hide and seek okay now take page number 30 okay you have to do this exercise section this is the multiple choice question okay first of all you have to read the chapter very well and after that you have to do this exercises okay here are you have to do this exercise section in page number 30 and page number 31 now work in pairs have a dialogue people what people a i have a small dog people b what does it eat a it eats biscuits and cakes where does it sleep it sleep in its kennel now complete the dialogues given below you can use the sentences given in the box and you have to complete the dialogues here there are some more questions given below in the box 
you have to complete the dialogue like this you have to add some questions given below and you have to complete the dialogue between pupil a and b here are the questions and answers given below okay you have to write it in your notebook so you have to complete these dialogues with the sentences given in the box okay now listen and cross the words you did not hear i will read out some words for you okay what you have to do is you have to cross the words that you did not hear okay baker baker king king think think when when baba baba queen queen thank thank why why okay i have read out some words you have to cross the words that you do not hear now match correctly you have to match uh, the same the words using the you have to match with with the correct article which are the articles a and and the right so you have to match it and make a sentence okay next say the names of the given pictures then write the first letter of each name in the blanks given below each picture then combine the letters to get a word one is done for you okay here there are some pictures given below what you have to do is please write the first letter of the each picture first letter of each picture and you can find, get a new word then here this is bat so the first letter is b this is a noun so the first letter is o this is ant here the first letter is a and here is the table and the first letter is t so by combining these four letters we got a new word boat right so like that you have to uh do this too you have to write the first letter of each picture and you will get a new word here you have to write it here this one also you will get a new word here you have to write the first letters of each words and you have you will get a new word here just use e a or e e to complete these words you have to use the letters e a or e e to complete these words there are six words given below you have to complete it using the letters e a or e e in appropriate blanks okay if you complete the words with e e or e a and you have to use those words to complete these sentences you have to complete these sentences by using the words you got from last section okay next is rewrite the sentences using capital letters and full stop now here are some sentences given below it is not written in capital letter the starting letter is not a capital letter it doesn't ends with full stop you have to rewrite it with a capital letter and full stop okay 
Look at the pictures of the hare and the tortoise. Right, what is happening in this pictures? Clues are given below each picture. Okay, here there are some pictures given and the clues are given below the box of each picture. Okay, and you have to complete the sentences by looking at the pictures and the clues and you have to complete those sentences okay you have to write it by yourself and you have to send it to me through whatsapp okay Stussy palm who has seen the wind take page number 36 we cannot see the wind but we can always feel it around us can anybody see the wind or air Nobody, right? But we can feel it when the wind blows, right? Who has seen the wind? Neither I know you, but when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you know I, but when the trees pour down their heads, the wind is passing by. Kyo, the poet is asking, who has seen the wind? Nobody has seen. Neither I or nor you has seen the wind. But when the leaves have trembling, we can feel that the wind is passing through. And when the trees bow down their heads, we can feel the wind is passing by. Okay? This is about the wind that we cannot see but we can feel. Okay, this poem is written by Christina Rossetti. Okay, next is a new chapter, One Sunday. Take page number 37. This story is about a boy. His name was Tom Sawyer. He was a clever boy. He lived with his aunt. She was an old lady. She loved Tom very much. Here we are going to learn a new chapter. Sorry. A story about Tom Sawyer who was a clever boy who was living with, living with his aunt. And she loved him very much. It was Sunday. The boys played in the sun. Only Tom sat alone. Aunt Polly had told Tom to paint the fence. She gave him a bucket full of paint and a long brush. Tom took the bucket and the brush and looked at the fence sadly. It was long and high. He picked up the brush and painted a small part of the fence. Then he said to himself, I must think of a way to get out of this. Now it was Sunday. What you all do on Sundays? It will be off day for you, right? You won't be having classes on Sunday. And this Sunday, and a Sunday, Tom, all the boys were playing, and Tom was sitting alone. And on his own, Polly had told him to paint the fence. You can see Tom and the fence here. This is the fence. Okay. And he's asked to paint the fence. And gave him bucket and with a bucket full of paint and a long brush. And he looked at the fence sadly. Why it is very big. It was long and high. And he was thinking, after painting a small part, he was thinking, he want to get out of this. As Tom thought this, he saw Ben Rogers, one of his friends, come. Ben ran and jumped with an apple in his hand. Tom was a clever boy. He thought of an idea. He picked up the brush and started his Work again. Ben looked at Tom in surprise. He asked, Tom, what are you doing? Tom did not answer. He pretended to be busy. Ben spoke again. I am going for a swim. 
but you can't join me. You are working. Tom answered angrily, working? Painting the fence is so much fun. I don't want to go anywhere. Now, while he was painting, who came his friend? Ben Rogers came. Ben ran and jumped with an apple in his hand. Actually, Tom was a clever boy. He thought of an idea. And what he did? He went painting as he was busy. Now, Tom is, sorry, Ben is asking, they are going for a swing. You are, you can't join us because why, why he is working. Now, Tom asks Antin angrily that uh, painting the fence is so much fun and he don't want to go anywhere. Ben really thought painting the fence was fun. He said, Tom, please let me paint the fence. And what happened? Ben came and asked him he want to paint. He thought it is very funny. No, Ben, I can't let you paint the fence. I love doing it. What did Tom say? He won't let him paint. He loves to paint very much. Ben thought about the fun and said again, Please, Tom, I am your best friend. He saw Tom look at his apple. He said, Tom, I give you this apple as a gift. Now, can I paint the fence? Now, he is asking, I will give you this apple and can I paint the fence? Tom thought for some time and said, Well, Ben, you are a friend. I give you this brush. Are you happy now? And he gave his brush and he asked whether he is happy now. Tom sat in the shade and ate the apple. Soon two boys walked by. They saw Ben at work. He looked happy. Now they also wanted to paint the fence. And two other friends came there and he saw and they saw Ben is painting happily. And what happened? They two wanted to paint the fence. They asked Tom. Can we paint the fence? Tom said, You see, painting the fence is so much fun. I am waiting for Ben to give me the brush. Now what did Tom say? He is waiting for Ben to give pass the brush. It is very fun to paint the fence. The boys told Tom that they had some marbles and a kite. They wanted to give these things to Tom. What did the boys say? They are having marbles and kites to play. And they will give those marbles and kite to Tom. And they will paint. Tom thought for a long time and asked Ben to give the brush to one of the boys. One by one the boys painted the fence. Soon the fence was white and clean. Tom had an apple, many marbles and a kite. Aunt Polly came out of the house. She looked at the fence and said, Well, the fence is white and clean. You are a good boy, Tom. You have worked hard. She gave Tom an apple as a reward. Tom was happy now. He ran to play with his friends. What happened? It, the fence was painted completely. When his aunt came, she saw that the paint was white and fence was white and clean. And he rewarded, she rewarded him an apple, saying that you are a good boy and you are a hard worker. And he left the place to play with his friends. Okay, this is about the story of Tom, who, who was a very clever boy. Okay. After reading the story, you have to complete the exercise section. Okay? You have to do it by yourself. You have to write it in your notebook, the question answer sections. Okay? Now, work in pairs. People A. What did you do last Monday? I played football with my brother. Where did you go yesterday evening? I went to the circus with my parents. What did you have for breakfast today? 
I had a sandwich for breakfast today. Now ask the same questions and your partner answers them. Okay, now what you have to do is you have to answer what you have done on that day. Okay, and what you had on that day. I wanted to know your replies. Okay, you have to write it in your notebook. Listen to the clues and fill in the blanks. I will read out some clues. You have to fill in the blanks. Okay. I'm an insect. I collect honey. I'm an insect. I collect honey. What is it? First one. I'm an insect. I collect honey. Second one. I'm a bird that can see at night. I'm a bird that can see at night. Okay, the first letter of each answer is given below. You have to complete the words. Okay. Third one, you put me on a bread slice or a toast. You put me on a bread slice or a toast. Fourth one, I give you air. I give you air. Fifth one, I shine in the sky at night. I shine in the sky at night. Next, I am the opposite of darkness. I am the opposite of darkness. Okay, you have to complete. You have to find the answers from this clues that I have read you, read for you. The first letter of the answers has given below. Then you have to complete it. Please read this aloud. This is check to this is to check the pronunciation of each of you. Okay, fill in the blanks with R R O L L to complete the words. Then read them aloud. Now you have to complete these blanks by using the letters R R or L L. Okay, all of you should do it by yourself. In the box given below, look for words that sound the same as those in the book. Okay, here there are some words given below in the box. Sorry, in a book. You can say book here. And there are some words here. And you have to find the words from these box. Okay. Let me help you with the first one. Sorry, you have to find the rhyming pair of the of this words or the words that sounds the same as in the book. Okay, scent. You can see a similar word like this that sounds like scent. See this scent. These two are rhyming. This two sounds the same, right? So, like that, you have to find the words that sounds the same as in the book. Now, match the opposites. Here, there are six, five words in column N and five words in column B, and you have to match the opposites. Hard. soft like that you have to find the opposites and match it okay imagine you are Tom write a paragraph on what happened after Aunt Polly gave you an apple as a reward again Aunt Polly after Aunt Polly gave me an apple I ran okay you have to write what happened you have already read, read the chapter that he Painted the fence with his clever idea. He made the fence to paint it, paint the fence with his clever idea. Now you have to complete what happened.
after he ran from and on pony you have to start the right start the sentence like this after on pony gave me an apple i ran and here are the clues given below okay and you have to make a paragraph on the other side take page number 43 up the street i look to see if any traffic gives near me down the street i look as well and listen for a horn or bell there is something coming wait a bit if i run out i may be hit but now the road is really clear no car or motor buses near i will run across the road so wide hurry i am safe on the other side okay this boy is trying to cross the road and in the street he is looking to the two sides whether there is any traffic near him and he is listening for a horn or a bell whether any uh car or any vehicles are coming and he will wait there because he saw something if he run out through the road what will happen it will hit him but now the road is really clear no car or motor bus is near now when all the vehicles has passed by he crosses the road and he is safe on the other side okay this is about a boy who is trying to cross the road okay this is written by anid blighton that's all for your class today thank you